Hello, very good day to you. Now, I most like doing these 10 day trends when we have quite a firm idea of what the weather's going to be doing through the next 10 days or so, and that's not really the case this time round. It's fair to say the weather's looking pretty changeable. Starting off looking at the bigger picture and the feature that's been named Storm Connell did bring some heavy rain, some strong winds across southern parts of the UK, but it is going to deepen further as it heads towards the Netherlands. And so it's, that's why it's the Dutch Met Service that actually gave it a name. Behind it, we have high pressure building in, and with high pressure, that's going to settle things down. We're going to have some clear skies as we go through the rest of Wednesday and overnight into Thursday. At this time of year, with clear skies and some chillier air coming in, that means we're going to see our temperatures dropping. And so, first thing on Thursday morning, we do need to watch out for some frost, some fog, and even some freezing fog patches in some places too. Some fog could linger through much of the day towards eastern parts, but here, it it should stay largely dry. Quite chilly though, temperatures staying on the low side for the time of year. Further west, we're going to have some cloudier, wetter, windier weather pushing its way in and temperatures lifting, even here, only just about scraping into double digits. Later on, we see the heaviest rain pushing its way across parts of Scotland, so a wet end to the day here. Uh, across other western areas, a bit damp, a fair bit of cloud around. Further east, we will see the cloud building as we go through the evening, but it should stay largely dry. That's because towards the east we are still under the influence of high pressure as we go into Friday, but eventually that high drifts away towards the east and so the slightly more changeable, cloudy, wet and at times windy weather will start to make its way across much of the UK as we go through Saturday. It always looks wettest and most windy towards northern and western parts, but yes, some more changeable, unsettled weather pushing its way through. With that as well, we are going to see our temperatures rise it's going to be pretty mild for the time of year as we go through this weekend, but like I say, fairly changeable. More changeable weather to come as we go through into Sunday, likely to see another low pressure centre pushing its way through, so some wet and windy weather at times, but that should push through as we go through early next week with a bit of a ridge of high pressure following in behind, and so that's likely to settle things down for a short period of time, but with that, we are going to see some cooler air returning, so temperatures dropping down again and again. That means we're likely to see some frost and fog, some freezing fog as we go through Monday night into Tuesday, perhaps. Behind it, more unsettled weather are already to come in, various systems waiting out in the Atlantic. And I think it's this sort of theme that we're going to see more of as we go through the next 10 days, in as much as, yes, there will be high pressure not too far away, but it could just be some transient ridges which are relatively short-lived interspersed with some more unsettled weather coming through at times as various fronts, various low pressure systems make their way across the country. We could look at that in a different way by looking at our pressure trend. If you've not seen this before and it shows the most likely pressure pattern for the next couple of weeks with reds highlighting that high pressure is generally most likely. High pressure suggests more settled conditions, but it's important to look at the details. Yes, higher pressure through the next few days, but if you look at the numbers as we go through the first week of December and they're fairly low so it's definitely no guarantee that high pressure really is going to be all that in charge. Low pressure is likely to also be nearby so what I'm suggesting is there aren't strong signs for a big blocking high that will last for a good chunk of time like we saw earlier on in November. Instead it looks like it would just be some relatively short-lived periods of high pressure with some wetter windier weather perhaps at times. We can see that in a different way if we look at the zonal trend. Remember, this is the pattern as to whether our air is coming from the west or the east. And at the moment, it's more of an easterly direction. But yes, as we go through the first week of December and the first week of meteorological winter, it does look like a more westerly, more mobile pattern is likely. And that goes in line with everything kind of being quite changeable with nothing lasting particularly long. I wanted to show you the confidence index because, well, if you've not seen this before, it's, this is how high the forecast confidence is compared to average. And as you would expect, confidence generally drops as you look further into the future. But actually in this instance, while confidence is quite high for the next couple of days, it really drops down as we go through the first week of December. In fact, confidence for around the second or third of December is lower than the confidence in the forecast a whole week later, though this uh, higher than average confidence maybe isn't as high as it suggests. We often see with high pressure on the cards that this indicates that higher than average confidence is more likely when it doesn't always come off. 
Anyway, back to the uh, forecast for next week. And one way of looking at things is by looking at the ECMWF most likely regimes. And this is the most likely regime for next Wednesday. And it goes with the idea of higher pressure somewhere towards the east or the south of the UK and lower pressure towards the north northwest. But where this boundary between the low pressure and the high pressure actually is, is where there's quite a bit of uncertainty. And that really then will dictate how much we see the rain and where we see the wet and windy weather pushing through. If we look at the second most likely, and it has the high pressure much further towards the west, also towards the north a little bit more, and more dominant over the UK. And so actually on Wednesday, it looks largely dry compared to the much wetter story when we look at the most likely regime. And if we look at the third most likely regime, well, it's somewhere in between. So wetter, windier weather towards the northwest, higher pressure towards the southeast. And that's kind of the pattern we can expect really through much of next week. But at times, this unsettled weather will push through. So most places, or pretty much everywhere, will see some rain at times. If we look at this in a different way, and if we look at the ECMWF postage stamps, so these show the various different model runs and all the different possibilities for what could happen on next Thursday. And it's quite difficult to look at the details in these, but they're showing that the positions of any lows and highs, well, they're really quite uncertain at this stage. There are some lows and highs around that we can be pretty certain on, but exactly where and when they're going to come through, that's where the difficulty lies. If we take one example, if we look at member 10, and actually Actually, this one shows quite a deep area of low pressure coming through next Thursday. This is just one possible outcome, so we don't need to take it too seriously at this stage. But if this came off, we could have some stormy weather, albeit worth noting that the majority of the members want something much less severe than that. If we then dart ahead a day and look at Friday, and this time looking at member 11, a very different story. This has high pressure building back in from the east and pushing across the UK. And if this came off, then this could actually last for quite a while and we could have a relatively prolonged period of more settled weather. But again, this is just one member and most of them uh, paint a slightly different story with just a, a changeable pattern with various things moving through at times. So I think it's fair to say, yes, I think I've said changeable enough times in this forecast that we can be pretty certain on just how unsettled it's going to be. That's where the confidence isn't quite there and when we're going to see the wet and windy weather pushing through. But temperature wise, I'm a little bit more confident as we go through at least into the beginning of next week. I already talked about a chilly bit for the next day or so, but then temperatures picking up as we go through next week or this coming weekend. Here are the meteograms from ECMWF for our capital cities, and they all paint a similar profile as much as those temperatures then pick up, dropping down again early next week. And then thereafter, as we go through the first week or so of December, it's likely that temperatures will be pretty near climatological average, perhaps a, a little bit above, but worth noting there's a fair amount of spread in those temperatures. It's pretty much just climatological spread. So thanks for watching. I do hope I uh, gave you some information as to what we can expect through the next 10 days. Obviously, details will firm up as we get nearer the time. So make sure you don't miss an update. Bye-bye.